When you first meet Cody Dean, you soon realize he's your typical seven-year-old boy. He's bright, happy, and full of energy. What you may not realize is he's deaf in both ears. Cody became sick with spinal meningitis, an infection of the lining and fluid around the brain that can also spread to the inner ear. Days later, his hearing was gone. And this is a tragedy because, you know, this is a child who's totally normal and was in normal schools and could hear well and speak well, hear nothing. Dr. John Dornhofer is a surgeon at Arkansas Children's Hospital who specializes in restoring hearing to children who have gone deaf or who were born deaf. His plans for Cody include a cochlear implant in both ears during one procedure, something that has never been done in Arkansas. This last week has been the worst. So, well, because we're going on two months without hearing, so he's starting to feel it now. But he's done great. Cody's temporary handicap hasn't slowed him down in school. Good. He was far enough in his beginner reading skills to allow him to communicate in writing. Stephanie Cates was brought in to keep Cody on track in class. His reading skills have improved vastly because that's his only resource that he has. A lot of children, it probably would have affected differently, but he's, he's just been Cody. He does occasionally reach a frustration level, and, you know, we kind of back off for a little bit, but, um, he, you know, he's, he's doing his part. He's working as hard as he can. It's the day of surgery. You ready? Cody and his family are eager for Dr. Dornhofer to implant the cochlear technology before their window of opportunity closes. In about 10% of the cases of spinal meningitis, the infection in the cochlea of the ear responds by forming tissue that turns into bone. If that happens, there is no chance of inserting an implant and no chance that Cody would ever hear again. That's why Dornhofer wants an implant in each ear at the same time. Oh, and this, is the, this is the nuts and bolts of everything. This is the implant. I'm Once the implant is in place, it is tested in the operating room to confirm that the 20 electrodes will stimulate various areas of the cochlea in Cody's ears. And the cochlear implant sounds mechanical, sounds computerized, but for somebody who's deaf, I mean, a computerized voice is, is wonderful. Weeks later, Cody's wounds have healed enough to turn on the implants, allowing him to hear for the first time in months. Look at that. Look at the perfect. Audiologist Steve Upson tests the level of each implant with a series of beeps just before Cody's turn on. And like Mickey Mouse does. Well, good. It will take months of therapy for Cody to get used to the new sounds. Cody. Good job. But after two months of living with no hearing at all, this first grader should adapt quite well. 